What's in the box? What's in the box? Got a Wi Fi adapter here. Oh man, it's all put together. It's all one thing. Weird. All right. Really good packaging for what it is. Very impressed on their Gucci style type uh, boxing. But here it is, guys. Two adapters, warranty sticker there, supposedly past QC. All right, let's plug it in. Okay, so I wanted to also show you guys uh, how to set this up inside. Uh, I obviously you saw earlier. Let's see. All right. So currently have it set up to get in. It's pretty similar to Bitmain and other manufacturers. Root, root uh, for the generic. Obviously change that uh, as you guys get this actually fully set up. Uh, what you want to do is when you're in minor configuration, you want to pick your pool. Uh, looks like there's some Ezil um or ETC, Ezil, or dual mining wars going on right now, and who's giving the best boost for uh, Zillica payments. Uh, right now, I'm just using Ezil. Uh, they did open up a brand new port 50050 to boost up ETC and Zill uh, mining. Uh, I have noticed some a little bit. One thing I did want to just touch base with you guys in just how setting this up. Uh, so you can actually see it within the miner. Because sometimes when you set this up and you're just putting in the two wallets, if you're familiar with dual mining, uh, anything with Zill, it's basically uh, like in this example, your ETC wallet and then your Zill wallet. Uh, in most cases, for whatever reason, the the actual uh, device, the iPolo device, won't pull up on the pool side. Uh, so you have to give your, your worker a name. Uh, what I found to be the easiest is to do something simple like uh, .001, uh, giving it like letters and names or whatever. Like I wanted to, this unit uh, has a gold tint to it, so I wanted to uh, name it Goldfinger. Uh, it wouldn't, still wouldn't read even though I put Goldfinger in there. Uh, so just doing something simple like .001, uh, it will reflect up on the, it, it'll post into the pool so you can see it poolside. Um, I would just go to yeah, main pool stats. There we go. What I would do to find out find the pool is I would just look up Zill, uh, it's probably the easiest. Now you can see, like, okay, which, which ones have. Uh, I know that Rabbit Mining recently did a video on on K1. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Red Panda is also doing some testing on K1. Uh, they are noticing a difference, but now again, Ezil just opened up this special port, uh, the 50050 port. Uh, so it should compete. Uh, I would also take a look at like you know what their actual fees are. Uh, Crazy Pool is actually reporting basically what the fee with Ezil would be uh, without having a special stratum uh, built for it. Um, so obviously, just do your own research. I know all the YouTubers say that, and it's you know it gets old after a while. But take a look at these. Go look them up. Uh, one thing, just to make note again, with dual mining, if you're going to dual mine with an iPolo device, uh, your wallet, the Zill wallet. Uh, and then just doing a simple dot zero zero one for the worker name or something along those lines, you'll notice it and have it reflect up on on the actual pool. And you notice here, I've had this up long, way longer than it is, but every time it restarts, uh, when you go click into the running overview, uh, and basically, you know, it's doing better than what's quoted uh, for the machine itself, roughly about three thirty. That's the average uh, on pool side. It reflects the same. Uh, 
you know, this is a good little machine. Uh, it, you know, 300 plus mega hash, 240 watts. It's efficient. Uh, honestly, the next comparable thing to get in this ratio of wattage versus uh, the hash rate that you're getting, you're going to be spending, you know, probably if you know a few hundred dollars more on a couple pair of graphics cards versus just this one unit uh it's quiet it's similar to the gold shell uh box miners where they're quiet it is a little hot uh sometimes at sometimes uh, you can see here that it's recording uh reporting cooler temps uh, so i have some airflow uh things that we've been building uh 3d printing and things like that uh, on this machine to kind of get airflow through but you know, it's worth checking out. So feel free, drop down in the comments below. Let me know what pool you guys decided to use because I'm still shopping pools. Uh, and uh, let us know your experience with it if you already have one. On that note, peace out.